Hi everyone. Now, I think this needs some attention because something's kicking off in China at the moment and it says Japan's PM aims to calm China-Taiwan tensions on US visit. Now, I have been looking into this recently about China and everything going on and the problems it has with Australia and the South China Sea and it's not looking good everyone. It's not looking good. I'm expecting something to escalate, to be honest with you. Um, I think people should probably start paying attention to something like this, because, to be honest, guys, I don't... I, I really think that they're building up to a war. Yeah, I really do. They, they're talking about it a lot. If you look at, I think, is it Sky News... They have a lot on it, involved in it at the moment. Some of the mainstream media in the UK doesn't isn't really talking about it much. There is the odd article that here and there, but it was the same with this CV that's going on. Not much of the it wasn't much in the mainstream media to begin with. There were some mainstream media's talking about it, like I think Sky News. Was it Sky News? Sky News Australia. They were talking about it um, before any of the other news stations and suddenly all of a sudden it went all over the mainstream media and then they declared a pandemic didn't they so yeah there so abc news is now reporting this japan's pm aims to calm china taiwan tensions on u.s visit so you can see it's escalating if maybe you know maybe well not escalating it's all scripted and everything um you know it's all planned out um but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't be aware of it, of what's going on and where we're going with all this because the chances are it's going to divide people even more because one country is going to be told to hate another country because they're evil and another country is going to be told to hate another country and it's just going to divide people in it even more and they're going to put the blame on some bad leader like they always do, like they did in World War One and World War Two, whatnot, and the Cold War... You know, I can see it, guys. We are heading for another war. I would say probably World War Three is, you know, as crazy as that. I think that's where we're going. I mean, look at all the tensions with China. Look at look at what they're doing. You know, last year they were talking about, even last year, they're building up to it. It's getting more and more intense. With uh, It seems to be China versus a lot of the world. We've got Russia involved as well. There's problems with Russia and invading um all sorts of stuff so we've got japanese prime minister yo shield uh i can't say his name suga on so sunday one taiwan's peace and stability is, is key to the region and that japan will cooperate with the united states to calm rising tensions between china and taiwan suga uh suga suga is set to meet with the president joe biden in washington next week the u.s leader first Leaders first in person summit since taking office in January. Tokyo considers it its US alliance, so it just proves it'll be like in um you know, World War Two, you know, when you had alliances like Germany and Italy and I think, you know, and Japan versus like, you know, the the it was the Axis versus the Allies won it. And um I think it's gonna be stuff like China, Iran, Russia North Korea versus the United States, UK, Australia, Japan, France, you know, them. And they'll probably drag other countries involved. But, guys, this is really intensified now. So now we've got Australia that's got problems, I think, with New Zealand. They've, they've talked about it because of China, in China's invasion. And the problems with the South China Sea, you've got problems with Taiwan. Um, you've got bloody US... Um, ships on the uh, heading to uh, all over the united states um you've got military tensions rising in russia i think it's ukraine guys they are building up to something and i think we this does need and it, this is not fear mongering this is what's happening this is what i'm observing at the moment so just i think we need to just look at this because it, i think it might they might take it somewhere they are definitely taking it somewhere think about all those Xbox and PlayStation games and computer games, you know, Call of Duty and all the world, you know, world, 
well, all sorts of stuff, war games, world warfare, and you know, all these World War Three games that are predicting what could take place. Put in it in your eyes, that's predictive programming. Don't think it won't happen. Because if they're talking about it, it probably will in the future. Probably as soon as, well, I, I think probably this year. Taiwan is expected to be on the agenda as the leaders seek ways to deal with China's growing security threat in the region. Chinese warplanes are increasingly entering Taiwanese airspace and China has protested on agreements to bolster co uh, uh, cooperation between the US and Taiwanese Coast Guards had f that followed Washington's new sales of armed equipment to Tape. It's important for Japan and the United States to cooperate and use de uh, deterrence to create an environment where Taiwan and China can find peaceful solutions. Uh, China claims Taiwan is on its own tertiary. And the thing is, China's not going to stop. You've now got freaking Nigel Farage talking about how China's a threat. You know? So he's he's talking about now, he's, he, this is his own words, he said, now I've dealt with Brexit, China is the problem. That's what he said. So he's he's a fucking warmonger to watch out for the future. And it's all planned, it's all in the script. They've all got it ready, whenever it'll be, but... I think we've got to watch out for this. So yeah. China seems to be on it. I think that, that you know that there's all over the news are talking about it wanting to take over. That's the news script. That's you know that China's going to be the buggy man. They're going to be the next Nazi Germany. So I'll get ready guys and yeah just hold on tight because it's just about to start what we've seen in 2020 and what we've seen this year is nothing believe me I'll, I'll tell you how I'm, what they've got planned ahead you've got to be ready thanks guys